2020 cross country is finally back here in Arizona for the Desert Twilight Festival. Newberry Park kicked some tail today on the boys' side. Went three, five, six, nine for their top five in the featured club race, which was a loaded race. An incredible team performance. They smoked the field. Two of the guys here, the twins, the young twins. On our right is Lex. Left is Leo, correct? There we go, got him right. Went three, five in the race. First off, both of you guys, how does it feel to finally get a race back in? It feels awesome to get the to get the season started, to break the ice and show people that we're ready to do our best and to really dominate. Yeah, it feels great just to show like what we've been working for, what we've put in. We've put in so much hard work over the summer and just like ever since ever since last XC we've been building and we've been it's just nice to finally show what we're all about this season. For you guys individually, you guys both had very good seasons, a lot of positives last year during the course of the year. Oftentimes, sophomore year is the big jump for kids. You guys showed that today in a sense right there. You guys have had a really great training since then. Uh, Fitness-wise, confidence-wise, what do you guys feel? I think that as far as fitness, I think we were incredibly prepared because we've been training absolutely hard. We've been prepared for whatever race could come at us and as races only get postponed and postponed I think that our fitness just got stronger and stronger and as a team and like everybody was prepared and we've all been working out far better than we could have expected and so that I think that brought everyone confidence now, on the fitness side of things and confidence I feel so great after this race knowing that all the work I put in is worth it and over the season, I mean, over the like training block, I've been really focusing a lot on consistency, and it's nice to see that it's like pulled off, like like it's like been good and like it's worth it, and it's it's nice just to have the extra confidence boost to show that like I can do what like my coach says I can, and I can train at that level. As a team, I know your confidence is really high because the workouts have been going so well. I know Sean's been very excited about this opportunity. You guys come out and do it. But again, even though you guys were very good last year as freshmen, how did it feel in this race? You're in the race, loaded field, big names in, and you're right in the middle of it late in the race. How did that feel? Were there nerves? Was there juice? I mean, there is a ridiculous amount of nerves. I mean, I've never been able to like score for the team varsity before. Wow. And I think that going into a race knowing what I was capable of and knowing that I had a crucial job to play for the team was just really, really important and it brought a heck of a lot of nerves before the race. You just, you're very, very nervous, but as soon as the gun goes off, all the nerves clear and you just want to do your job and help the team get the goal. Yeah, like in the race, you start to feel like, like in the past seasons, I've always been farther back in the pack and it's, it's cool to be more up in the front and really realize like I can act like I can be here and like really like scoring for the team and just like it just feels great because like freshman it's like you're I feel like I, freshman year I was kind of like hesitant to like it was just to like go up there and stuff and I was like more on like the back side of the team but it's, it feels really nice to score like second for the team and just like make a difference like that and guys how do you explain the fact that I mean, there was uncertainty. I mean, a few weeks ago, you guys found out about this race, you guys didn't do it. But before that, there was uncertainty as when you might race again. Given that, how do you guys find the motivation to continue to work at such a high level so often to be in the, sh in the shape you're in when a few weeks ago, not knowing you'd have a chance? I think a lot of it is the depth that our team's got uh, achieved this year because the instant you, you fall short a little bit or you're not having the best day, you realize, well, oh, all the uh, all these other people on our team are working as hard as they can, and you know that race day is going to come, and you know that if you're not working your hardest, you're just going to be behind, and you won't be able to play that job. <laughs> so it's like the team this year is deep enough to almost bring enough competition and motivation in the daily training day to keep everybody going. And our coach is constantly talking about opportunities to race that you know it's going to happen. Yeah. I think that like when quarantine first hit and stuff and throughout like the end of last year it was tough to find motivation but then seeing Nico still work so hard and like running with him every day and seeing like his consistency makes it a lot easier for yourself to go through it and knowing that like right like if I put in the work it's building knowing that the sport is all about building up your like fitness 
and then coming into summer and stuff just seeing everyone else like having like what Leo said like such a close team who like with all of us working out so close together it just allows it to have like this different environment you know because like instead of like because we're all going so like if you don't let someone else drop off you like you know that like we all have to work and it's just and what am I trying to say <laughs> no, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> like so last year we were very blessed to see your oldest brother Nico Young now freshman Northern Arizona when he cross nationals a great student athlete he's moved on and now we're fortunate to see the two sibling twins Leo and Lex do outstanding again great performance one three five six to nine at the desert twilight meet congratulations we look forward to the next opportunity all right guys thank you thanks thank so you. much